hey loves it's Brit and in this video I'm talking about Mercury conjunct Pluto in Sinistry so Mercury aspects in Sinistry are often overlooked or not focused on as much as you know other planets moon Venus you know um, but they're just as important if not you know more in their own way because mercury is how someone's mind works it's how we communicate so um it is definitely an important factor and so with mercury conjunct to pluto in sinistry this is one of these plutonic aspects um but there is less talk about it so let's just get right into it so with this aspect in Sinistry, a lot will depend on the Pluto person's state of consciousness. And what I mean by that is the Pluto person needs to be very conscious and aware of the power that they have over the Mercury person. So in this case, Pluto um, has the power because Pluto is like the more forceful or more powerful of the two energies mercury is almost you know more um naive or like childlike in a sense um you know mercury being ruled by gemini the twins it is kind of like a youthful or like um innocent energy in a way just as a generalization of mercury and so pluto being conjunct to someone's mercury they have a lot of power over Mercury and the things that they're going to say to Mercury or the energy that they're projecting to Mercury can either help or hurt them. And they need to make a conscious decision that they are going to try to help Mercury or, you know, um, be a healing influence or an influence for good because with the power of this conjunction, the things that Pluto says or the things that Pluto does is going to affect the Mercury person on such a powerful psychological level that it can promote change, um, positive or negative. So the conjunction in itself is not a, you know, easy or hard aspect. It depends how you use it, right? And the reason why I'm saying that the Pluto person needs to be you know, at a certain level of consciousness is because when we have, you know, lower self-worth or like, you know, a lot of trauma and wounding that we haven't looked at, the Pluto placement in our chart can be very ruthless or, you know, operating like, you know, the underworld and very underhanded or even, you know, in some cases, criminal ways, right? So um, we need to be very aware of our Pluto wound and, um, you know, if the Pluto person is not coming from an evolved place or, a, you know, not nobody's healed, right, but like a, a place with a little bit of self-awareness, um, they can profoundly hurt the um, Mercury person with just the sheer force of their personality, which you know, it's so interesting because, um, you know, they don't usually mean to come off so strong, strong on the Mercury person. Like people with Mercury, Pluto aspects and natal, they do not mean to cut your head off when they are talking to you, but they usually do. Their words cut like a knife and they hurt and they, you know, hit you right in the core and um you know they don't always sometimes they mean to but they don't always mean to come off that strong and be so difficult or challenging or hurtful right and so yeah the pluto person just has to recognize they have this powerful energy over mercury now you know it's it's really interesting because the pluto person actually feels fascinated by the mercury person and the way that they think you know, they could even um, put them on a little bit of a ped pedestal thinking the Mercury person is like this genius or this holder of profound wisdom or knowledge or codes that they want, right? And um, there can even be some kind of mental jealousy like we can see with the hard aspects where um, Pluto can be very jealous of Mercury and Mercury's intelligence. You know, maybe Mercury is like this university scholar or something and Pluto doesn't have that kind of knowledge and they feel threatened by it or they feel jealous. Um, now that's not going to happen in every single case, but this is 
uh, a potential theme of Mercury Pluto synastry is that the Pluto person is actually so jealous of the Mercury person's mind and intelligence or wit or, you know, because the Pluto person in this contact feels so dark and dreary. Like Pluto is like this old, tired part of ourselves where we've just, you know, we've gone through so much and we're just clenching and we're just like holding on for dear life to try to make it through this hard life. Um, and um, Mercury is a more lighthearted energy. Like, why are you taking everything so serious? Like, let's just laugh and have a good time. And like, you know, so, and, and if this conjunction is happening in Scorpio, um, the Mercury person's Mercury is, is a bit more, you know, uh, in that darkness already anyways, but like if it's happening in a different sign, you know, like Leo or, or something like that, or Sag, you, you could see that, yeah, the Mercury person is like this, um, <laughs> like more lighthearted influence and they think to Pluto, like, why are you taking everything so seriously? Like, I'm just talking, you know, there's not a meaning in everything I say. Um, and the Pluto person w will just be like shocked at that. Like, you just said something without meaning. You just said something to me that you didn't mean, you know, and that, you know, could end up being um, one of the fights in this relationship is that um, the Pluto person takes everything personally or takes everything to this deep level. And the Mercury person didn't intend for that. Now, the gifts of this conjunction, though, is that the Pluto person can lighten up. They can reconnect to Mercury, like inquisitiveness, like that childlike, childlike wonder and, you know, curiosity in life, right? And seeing things from a more lighthearted perspective. And then Mercury has the opportunity for a deepening and, you know, a grounding in a sense or... Um, an ability to let go of maybe some superficial or naive ideas about life. Now, um, one of the more classic interpretations in the books um, will say about this aspect that, you know, it's great for investigative work, um, studying occult things or, you know, like astrology or just the deeper things in life. Um, that makes a lot of sense because we have, you know, Pluto, the underworld meeting with Mercury, the conscious mind. So studying, yeah, psychology or, you know, understanding even like the hin hidden inner workings of your own self and, and everybody else. This is going to be a great contact for that. You know, it'd be a great contact if you're, you know, like astrologers and you just sit um, <laughs> in a room on your computer just studying charts, you know, because you're going to have that staying power. Um, the Pluto person is going to motivate the Mercury to go deeper. So it is actually a good aspect for studying and, um, you know, kind of behind the scenes work, right? That's another aspect of Pluto is like it's hidden things, right? Um, things we want to hide. So you could end up studying with this person, like sort of taboo things, maybe even sexual things um, as well, you know, not talked about things. That's where your minds are going to go together. That's what's going to come out of this relationship. So that can end up leading to a lot of wisdom. Now, the Pluto person just, like I said, needs to become conscious of the fact that they have this powerful influence. They might try to manipulate the Mercury person's mind. They might try to control their ideas. So in a relationship, you could see that, you know, they, the Pluto person wants authority over the Mercury person's mind. You know, they might um, undermine their ideas or their beliefs and, you know, want to um, control or manipulate those. Now, that's not going to happen in every case, but sometimes you could see that, that um, the Pluto person is actively doing that. Or even if they don't feel that they're doing that, the Mercury person perceives them as being controlling over their mind or trying to control their mind. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you just want to be aware of that. And yeah, like I said, the Pluto person has the power in this contact and they have to make a choice, you know, how they're going to use that power. Um, yeah, what else about this contact? Um, it's still very Plutonic, like it's still going to give that obsessive um, 
energy that Pluto aspects have. The other thing too is there's a strong telepathic bond where the Pluto person sees right through the Mercury person and can in a sense kind of like detect their weaknesses at least mentally um and yeah they really have this like probing insight into the mercury person and the mercury person can feel actually heard without speaking like it's like the pluto person knows what they're thinking so this can actually end up leading to a lot of intimacy that's you know one of the benefits of this contact and actually other mercury pluto contacts as well um although this one is the most powerful it does create this mental telepathy and ability to finish each other's sentences and you know a knowing of what's going in, on inside the other and now the mercury person also has a sense of what's going on inside the pluto person but they're sensing, you know, all that intensity and sexual energy in a way. The Mercury person could feel quite, you know, sure of the fact that the Pluto person is very attracted to them in almost like an invasive way. Um, so there is actually sexual attraction with this aspect, even though it's... Um, you know, Mercury, which is not necessarily a sexual planet, but it's because of what Mercury awakens in the Pluto person that leads the Pluto person to having a fascination or like a compulsive need to be near or be, you know, inside the mind of the, the Mercury person. So that's what can lead to the sexual fascination and attraction like other Pluto contacts. Um, so it's a really powerful one to see. You can definitely see um, people being pretty obsessed with each other and a lot of learning and growth. It's not necessarily comfortable and it does sometimes create a feeling of anxiety in both people because Pluto, it, it can be scary. So if you're wondering what contacts in Sinistry produce a bit of anxiety together, it's not like an instant comfortable thing when we have Pluto synastry because these are the things that we would rather hide. We would rather not show um, the world, right? And then when we have this kind of activating contact in synastry, it gets brought up. So it's definitely powerful. There is a great potential for a lot of spiritual awareness, a lot of understanding of these deeper things in life. Um, these mysteries of life, mysteries within our own psyche, and yeah, it can be very helpful or very hurtful, and a lot will depend on, yeah, the Pluto person's um, level of consciousness, but also, you know, the Mercury person isn't, um, like, totally innocent either. It, it's just the Pluto person usually ends up having more of the power, but they both need to be conscious of the way that they react to each other, which is very strongly, and um not uh, not super impersonally either with this contact. So yeah, I'd love to know your experience of this aspect. Was it like this? Was it not like this? Let me know in the comments, you guys, and keep your requests coming. Thank you so much, and we'll talk soon. Bye.